Shopify checkout page customization. Hello everyone and welcome back. Now in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can elevate your basic checkout page on Shopify. So we all know how amazing Shopify is, but sometimes when we're building our checkout pages, we can make them pretty boring. So if you want to elevate your checkout pages without having too many complications, you can easily do it within Shopify's own settings and systems because Shopify allows you to use applications to customize your pages not only that but if you take a look at your regular checkout page it has a really nice design it's probably something you are most familiar with as well however if you want to further elevate that so let, let's say we have this product here that we're looking to purchase and we add this to our cart we go into our checkout and this is what it looks like the checkout page is decent but it's totally nothing special so to elevate this a little bit I'm gonna show you guys a few things you can do so let's get started the first thing to getting started with checkout page customization is to go on ahead and click on settings on your bottom left then once you click on settings you can go into apps and sales channels and then open up the shopify app store once you open up the shopify app store this is what it's going to look like now you can search for checkout page and once you click on checkout page, you have a few different options. So you have these few checkout customization options, which are pretty amazing. But personally, I don't like to use these. The reason for this is I don't like to add too many customizations because this is the checkout page that you guys see is a pretty standardized checkout page that you find on most websites if your checkout page looks extremely different then that can just make your website seem a bit less trustworthy so for that reason i don't install any applications however if your brand is established and you have a lot of trust within your market then you're easily able to customize your pages however you want so i'm gonna go into my dashboard and from here I'm just going to move forward and I am just going to go on ahead and then we're going to begin with customization. Now, the most important thing is to go into online store on the left. Once you go onto your page, you can open up your store, click on customize. Once you've clicked on customize over here, you want to go into the top where it says homepage and then you want to scroll down. And then you will see this option called checkout and customer account. So you want to click this over here and this will show you your checkout page. So within your checkout page, you have two pages. You have a thank you page and then a checkout page. The first thing to do is to add an image on your header. So currently I don't have a logo and I'll show you guys quickly how you can design one. You can just go into Canva and I'm going to ask it to design for me logo brand a cosmetics brand called Oco and I'm just going to ask it to create a logo for me just like that this is completely free all you need is an email account and you can build your own logos as well and once it has created my logo we have Coco Cosmetics I'm just going to be using this one here and once I have chosen this I am going to open this up or you can just save your image directly I'm going to be using the full download option. So click on download, download this as a PNG. And once we have downloaded this, we are going to go back into our page editor, click on add image, click on add files. And this is our logo, click on open, and then just quickly upload our logo onto our checkout page. So these are some of the really integral elements of your store. Starting off, we are going to click on done and just like that, our logo is added, but it's going to be a bit oversized because our logo is created a bit larger. We're just going to resize this into an appropriate size. Now the header is a really nice header, but the color of the header is clashing. So I can scroll down and I want to customize the header color. And you guys can see that we have the background color for the checkout form. And then we have the background color for the order summary. However, we want to change the header color for our actual, you know, top header. So to do this, we're going to click on add image and we can use a image within the background. This comes down to your personal preference. I'm going to add a full width logo. 
and then from here we are just going to proceed now i do want some element of color so i'm going to be adding some light pinks within our brand coloring and we're just going to play around with the shade a bit like this and i'm just going to take a look at the colors now if you want the background color to match exactly with your logo color just go into canva or wherever you can just upload to google as well and then when you go into google you can take a look at your photo colors once you go into your photo colors here you will be able to get the hex code so whatever hex code this is you can use that you will see you have your color palettes and then you can even just go into google search for hex code picker and then just go into whatever first link you have upload your image and then choose the hex code from there ideally you just want to do this within your editor on canva now moving forward for our checkout page the next thing we want to do is go into our second background which is here i don't want to change too much i think this looks fine on the bottom you will also see on the bottom left is that your checkout page layout i have a one page layout you even have a three page checkout which i do not prefer this is something that was traditionally done we had a three page checkout a lot of websites still do do this but i prefer a one page checkout now you guys can see we also have address auto completion, which I would want to turn off. I want customers to type in their own addresses and we are going to allow customers to reorder. So if they have, if they have ordered this already, they have the ability to reorder directly. Mm -hmm. Once we've done some of our customizations, we can click on save on the top right and we can review these on mobile devices, on full screens and on desktop devices. Once we are done, we are going to go back and click on save and then exit on. Now, if there are more customizations that need to be made, you will find this in your settings under checkout. So if you click on settings on the bottom left and go into checkout, you will see you have your contact method, customer information, marketing options, tipping options, checkout languages, advanced preferences, including address collection and add to cart limits, and then any checkout rules that you want to add. You are able to customize all of these fields within these particular settings and your checkout page is now ready. It's slightly different, slightly unique, but still for, follows the basic order and follows the basic format of most checkout pages. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos. And if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else, make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well. And if you find that there is something missing, I will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel. So make sure to tell me if you find anything missing. So that was it for today. Today, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.